So Pulsar finally has three different mouse sizes. The X-Lite V3, I believe, is complete. I could be wrong. They could be coming out with some other crazy version. I don't know. But we have the X-Lite V3 size 1, size 2, and size 3, 3 being the largest of them. And I'll be honest with you guys, <laughs> the size 3 is huge. Here is um, a Fnatic uh and lambzu thorn for comparison this one i think was probably like on the upper limit of what i was used to and then a g pro wireless super light basically the g pro super light i mean this is not an ergo but it is again a pretty big mouse as well it's nice fairly comfortable and obviously when you're going to an ergo you're looking for even more comfort lambzu thorn i think this feels in the hand slightly bigger than the x light v2 in terms of the size and then bumping up to the behemoth and the x light v3 size 3 this thing is massive it completely fills your hand my hand size is like I think 19 and a half by nine and a half centimeters. And this thing is absolutely huge. It fills your hand. It is very comfortable, but if your hands are bigger than mine, I would probably say you just might like this mouse. Or if you happen to like bigger mice that really fill your hands and you have a similar size or a larger hand than mine. But um, when it comes to having the most precise aim, especially over the past year, I've been using a lot smaller mice than I have been previously due to, you know, the Rocket Jump Ninja Challenge that we did last year. And honestly, just trying to improve my aim as much as possible. Not saying that I'm a pro player or anything, but smaller mice have been giving me a little bit of an advantage. This would be great for like a work mouse, I would say, but pinpoint aim and whatnot, my performance is still better on the size one and size two. If I had to pick a favorite, I say the size one is definitely my favorite. Like I can definitely, you know, comfortably claw grip this mouse. That's where I find my aim is personally the best. But if you are more of a palm gripper, if you have smaller hands than me, the size two is gonna do you just fine. If you have larger hands than me, eh, you just might need the size three, but this thing is nice and clean. Of course, giant PTFE feet, glides fantastic. Polling rate, wireless, does go up to 4,000 hertz if you buy the 4K hertz polling rate dongle, which is separate, but it will do 1,000 hertz uh, normally, of course, wired, and the pairing process is super easy. Now, these mice are all $99 in Pulsar's regular lineup, and then we move over to the Pulsar ES or eSports lineup. The only problem when you have a ton of mice is that when you forget to turn them off, they die. But uh, plug this bad boy back in. This is the X-Lite V3 ES. This is the tournament version. We're gonna weigh all these in a little bit as well, because of course with the size differences, there are also weight differences as well. And the ES does have a feature difference as opposed to the others as well. So the ES is $129. It's a bit heavier and it does come with the 4K Hertz polling rate um, dongle included in the box, but you cannot pair it with any other Pulsar mice. So if you have the regular Pulsar lineup, you still need to buy the standard 4K Hertz polling rate dongle, which I believe is about 20 or 30 bucks. And once you buy that, you can pair that dongle to any of the Pulsar current generation mice but the es it is paired with um you know a special dongle from the factory just to make sure you get the absolute best connection now with the es you do get 4000 hertz pulling rate wireless with the dongle of course but you can also bump up to 8000 hertz pulling rate when you have the mouse plugged in so if you want the absolute fastest and most reliable connection you can get an 8000 hertz pulling rate buttery smooth connection while plugged in wired and the weight difference is noticeable, but it's not really something that's gonna hinder your performance or anything because the PTFE skates are absolutely fantastic. The OLED screen on the bottom, just to let you know, you know what DPI you're in and whatnot at a glance, genuinely not needing any software at all. You can see your battery life, your DPI, your liftoff distance, your polling rate, all on the mouse's built-in screen itself and it's super lightweight. Now you also have this little red tag at the bottom just to know you got the ES version of the mouse and then you also have a nice aluminum scroll wheel as well. Let's go ahead and weigh these bad boys. Starting off with the ES, we have 66 grams and then let's go ahead and check out the size two, 55 grams. If we wanna go lower to the size one, 
53 grams. And if we wanna go higher to the size three, 59 grams. So the standard edition mice are all well under 60 grams. The ES tournament ready version mouse is 66 grams. Probably with that additional hardware, it's all filled in. There are no holes at the bottom as well. And this is gonna give you a little bit more rigid construction, but quite honestly, build quality is absolutely fantastic as well on all of these Pulsar mice. Like I don't think that um, the standard line feels bad at all, but if you do want the absolute most rigid, top-notch build quality, that would be another reason to go with the eSports model because there's no holes or anything. It's still super lightweight and you do get a ton of features as well. And it's a good price, I think, for a high quality build, extra features like the OLED screen and coming with that 4K Hertz polling rate dongle in the box and also being able to go up to 8,000 Hertz polling rate 